Hey guys, welcome! Man, have I got a special episode for you! I'm a little late to the party, but I finally got my new watch acquisition, or NWA, of 2019. And here it is, the Casio G-Shock DW6900 TF Set. Yup, this is the very cool, very limited edition G-Shock collaboration with Transformers. I'm going to review the watch and the model robot, so make sure you make yourself comfy. But first, let's do a quick unboxing. Since this is a true blue G-Shock, you already know that it's built like a tank. It has a bright fire hydrant red 50mm case and is about 16.3mm thick. It weighs 67 grams and has a battery life of approximately 2 years, although that may be shorter depending on how often you press the backlight button. It is shock resistant thanks to how most G-Shocks are built and it has a quartz movement. It is also water resistant up to 200 meters, so don't be afraid to use this as a diving watch as well. The watch has a full auto calendar, 12 24 hour format, a backlight with the Autobots logo, flash alert, hourly time signals, and countdown timer. Like all G Shocks, it also has an alarm feature, which, quite frankly, is simply not audible enough to wake me up. So don't be too quick to throw out that alarm clock just yet. Its case and strap is made out of a special resin material which feels smooth to the touch but is definitely very tough. So even though the watch is 16.3mm thick and you do see the thickness, the watch wears much smaller than 50mm thankfully. This means you can bring it outdoors and it won't impede on your wrist much because after all, I don't think you would be wearing this watch under your cuff all that often. The strap feels of good quality since it's made out of resin and not plastic, although the annoying part is the catch. Because it has holes on the other side, it can trap your skin and pinch it as you move the catch. So be sure to insert a finger and pull the strap away from your skin while tightening 
to avoid that pinch. The watch feels very comfortable on the wrist. It doesn't feel all that hefty, but it doesn't feel fragile either. After all, this is still a G-Shock through and through, and they are known to be very durable against the harshest environments. So whether you like diving in a deep blue sea, going rock climbing, skydiving, this watch will endure everything that you put it through. So if you're not willing to risk bringing that Submariner, this will do just fine and that's a personal guarantee. There are many things that I like about this watch, but it isn't perfect. Firstly, the overall look of the watch with its red and blue color scheme is very playful, almost to the point of it being like a child's toy. You're gonna raise quite a few eyebrows wearing this to a formal event, but I have to admit, when you look at it, the color contrast is quite eye-catching, so it depends on the type of event you're gonna bring the watch to. The resin material feels great, and the strap does its job of holding the watch down on your wrist, but it does tend to make your skin sweat. It doesn't allow your skin to breathe through, so when you wear this on a hot summer's day, which is basically every day in the tropical climate of Malaysia, the strap tends to feel sticky with sweat and un quite uncomfortable after some time. Although a quick rinse of your wrist under the tap and a wipe of the strap will eliminate this problem quite quickly. Also, gotta love the hidden Autobots logo that only appears when a backlight is on. And we definitely can't ignore the Optimus Prime robot that comes with this watch. Which brings me to the next part of my review. Please bear with me as I haven't done too many reviews of plastic models before. So please feel free to drop me any questions in the comments and I'll answer them later. Prime here can transform between what I like to call a pedestal form and to its robot form like you see here. The process of transforming isn't exactly difficult, but it is very tedious. Because you see, the instructions which contains about 30 steps to perform the transformation is entirely written in Japanese. Referring only to the pictures doesn't help either, so I don't think I will be transforming Prime back and forth all that often. Do note that the robot is also sold in a separate set without the watch, so that's also an option if you don't want to get the watch but would rather spend the money on the robot. If you do get the set like mine however, you can use Prime for an additional feature, and that is as your own watch holder. Apparently the promotional story is that Prime needs to be reactivated and the only way to do it is to insert this watch into his chest. Yeah. Story aside though, this is a really cool model to have whether you are a Transformers fan or not. Holding the model in my hand, it feels quite hefty, like something you would get from the regular Gundam grade models, not the cheap ones you'd find in Toys R Us. The joints are reinforced, so the limbs don't fall off easily and they are capable of holding many different poses. The red and blue of the G-Shock definitely complements the overall look of Prime here. So when you do install the watch inside the chest area, it really fits quite well. Due to its build quality, I think it's safe to say that both the watch and robot can be handled by kids, even if they do decide to treat it rough. I think just let them go wild with it. It's a, it's a toy and it's meant to be played, just like how the watch is meant to be used as an all-utility timepiece. So don't be afraid to go wild. Right, and that's the review. Do you think that this is a great buy for collectors, or if it's just another pointless gimmick? Let me know in the comments, and I'll be back next week for another awesome episode of Penang Watch Guy. Peace out!